Hi, I'm Daniel Overton. I'm from CR Kennedy here in Sydney, Australia. We're the Leica Geosystems distributors here. Thanks for joining us today for this short video series where we're going to take a look at the Leica blk to go handheld imaging laser scanner. Throughout this series, we're going to go through unboxing. We're gonna to go to site and do some basic and advanced field capture techniques. We're also going to look at some optional accessories to enhance your field capture. And lastly, we're gonna come back here and import and finalize our project. But firstly, let's start with unboxing. First of all, we've got our scanner in our hard case. Now a standard kit includes three batteries, one in the unit itself and two spares. Now these batteries are gonna hold about 45 minutes worth of scan time, which when you're on site is actually a fair bit of scanning. We've also got our four bay charger and our base plate. Now the base plate is pretty important. It helps keep your scanner stable while it's initializing the scan. We also have a wrist strap, to give you a bit of added security just in case you're worried about dropping the scanner, as well as all the associated cables. Now some facts and figures about the blk to go The blk to go comes with three cameras around the outside of the scanner. Now these are 4.8 megapixel cameras. These are constantly taking images for you while you're scanning. But it also has an additional camera on the front, a 12 megapixel camera, which is for taking additional images while you're out in the field. So if you have another feature point of interest, capture another image and it will tag it in the location that you're scanning at. Now the blk to go scans at a speed of 420,000 points a second and has a range of 25 metres. The scanner itself has a 360 degree horizontal field of view and a 270 degree vertical field of view, while the panoramic imagery has a 300 degree field of view. So stick around and catch us on the next video where we're going to take the blk to go out to a vacant property, do a handful of scans and see how the field capture works.